a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from and what time you're watching us from. This is the Tubonge Show. And this is part two of Dear Young People. Hope you're enjoying the conversation, the young people, and also uh, and to the parents, you're learning from uh, our guest Alice right here about amazing, amazing ideas that we need to learn. Remember last time we talked about how the young people can really stretch, you know, the boundaries. But how at the same time when their fashion is different, they have a lot in their hearts and in their minds that we can learn from. But before we continue, allow me first to allow Alice, uh, our guest, to just welcome you back to the show. Welcome back, our viewers. Thank you for listening to us. We hope that we can engage so that our youth can have a better platform and better ways of doing things. Awesome. Yes. So last time, mm -hmm. we posed it right at the issue of who do I want to be? Okay. And uh, now it has become common knowledge of, you know, if you just uh, impose what do you want to be on your child? It will not end up well. So you wanted to be a doctor. Your grades did come through. And you're looking at your son, your daughter. You're like, well, as if we would have got a doctor. And any other career, you like, you want that engineer you wanted. You want that doctor you wanted. Um, but sometimes it doesn't end well. They, you know, they do that engineering. They tell you, take your engineering. I'm off to do my um, cabin crew. I'm off to do my, um, you know, automotive and you find yourself at the end of the day, they have something that they wanted, but you, you like uh, were so hell-bent on making them who you wanted. Um, where do parents come from and how can you address this of guiding your child to who they need to be? Now, um, you just hit the <laughs> nail on the head. Yeah. Yeah. You know, parents, mm -hmm. we have desires, mm -hmm. we have, you know, we have expectations. Yes. And these things are sometimes they are based on our own desires for our children. Maybe there are things we wanted to be and we did not. Actually, like myself, I wanted to be a doctor. I didn't make the grades. That was your thing. Yeah, it was my <laughs> thing. Yeah. Grades didn't get there. Yeah. yeah. So, but even when I look at, when I look back now. Yes. I actually don't think I would have, I would have liked it. Or it is not, ideally not uh, your It's not my pain. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, would, I would probably mm. have gotten tired of it at some point. So what I would not like to say for, to parents, parents, release your youth and your young ones to choose the path they need to take. The only thing you can do is pray for them. Because like I said, God has already put in them a purpose and a plan. It is right in there. We just need to get it out. We, we, we were still trying to digest yes. that statement. Mm -hmm. it, it's a very hard statement. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe you can go at it again mm -hmm. uh, on the releasing. Uh -huh. Release them. Yes. Release them. Let them be free to choose. You pray. In fact, there are some times you even know what's good for them or what probably have an inkling. Of there, there won't be a, a push and mm -hmm. struggle. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like if I have two sons, the, the one, the first one, his choices are very much agreeable with me because I can see it in him. Yeah, clearly. You yeah. Maybe a businessman, I yes. can see it in him. And maybe that is fine. So, but now the second one, say <laughs> a pastor, <laughs> now that, I, I don't just use his email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's been done, so happy. And I would never have thought. It doesn't look like he's preaching at home. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can be very relaxed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what I just need to say is that release them, let them be what God ha wants them to be. If it is a DJ, let them be the DJ. Mm. If it's a musician, if it is a nail artist, a fashion designer. Fashion designer. Yeah, know. If you allow them to be what God has uh, built them to be, and they, they're able to accomplish their purpose in life, that's all that they need. They'll have the passion for it. They'll have the longevity for it. Yes. So don't restrict them. Remove all your desires and wants. <laughs> Put them aside. Sometimes yeah. it may align. Yeah. Sometimes it may not. Yes. But you know what? These children, they're a gift from God. You don't own them. Yes. There's, there's a master who owns them and yes. he has created them. 
And actually, it will be a joy for you to watch what God can do. Amazing. If you just allow them to be, let mm. them grow, mm. but guide them, yes. but let them be, let them make that choice. Yeah. I, I'm sure the young people say, yeah, at least you're the best. <laughs> but now you're in trouble. We are now about to take the coin to the other side. Yes. And this is the thing. Yeah. Sometimes, passion mm-hmm. and opportunities do not go together. True. And I know that's where most of the parents come from. Mm-hmm. So you're talking about DJing. They know COVID can hit. There are no events and you'll be at home. Mm-hmm. But they know if you're a doctor and you have another career, it will hold you. Or rather, you can even use your, uh, another career to build your passion. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about now the young people also understanding mm-hmm. that the parents are looking for a better and brighter life for them. Mm-hmm. Where now it's not all about emotions. Mm-hmm. To be very honest, mm-hmm. I feel like it's very easy for young people to be emotional. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, people look so good online. You know, like right now, the in thing is Forex and online trading. Yeah. And, and it looks like, you know, they have all the money, those young people in Forex. Yeah. And they're driving all the cars. So they're like, even me, mom, give me 500,000. And I know of people who've lost millions. Mm. They put it there, got, got lost. Yeah. Because they were emotional. They didn't understand. You know, there's no one who will give you free money. Mm. Let's talk about... Uh, emotions versus opportunities and you know passion versus opportunities okay. I think this is where us as parents or guardians even in the church or whatever we need to guide them because you know I've seen young ones who they're saying I want to be a soccer player yeah so I ask them questions okay you want to be a soccer player like what have you accomplished so far mm-hmm what like in your school do you play soccer in line with yeah. what you're talking yeah. about so you need because if you want to be a soccer player then at least you need to have the skill and the gift for it then you just don't want to be a soccer player because the in thing we need to see the journey you need to see the journey yes. are you actually because if you want to be a soccer player then you have to have it if you don't have it then probably you're just best as a spectator so i think there are things we we will guide our children I have done that. One of my kids wanted to be a soccer player. Wow. He, they were, they were, mm-hmm. they, my first one. But, and he's good. He's a good football player. But I don't think he was at that level yes. of a professional soccer player. You can player. tell. <laughs> this team won't be money. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It won't be future. It won't be future. It won't be future. It's not to be future. Yes. not going anywhere. It's a, it's a good hobby. Exactly. Doing <laughs> yeah. it as a hobby. Yeah. And with time, we actually... And then what I've also done is yeah. I've allowed them to change their mind. Yeah. This one wanted to be a chef at one point, wow. to be this at one point. So it's as they are learning themselves. Because when you're 15, you may mm. think you know, but you, you know very little. Even yeah. about yourself. Yes, yes. So by the time you're 17, you will know more. So you can change your career choice even five times. So give it it's time. Okay. Give yourself Yeah. Time. If you're not sure, it is okay. Mm. Yeah. So we will guide you. Mm. But at the end of the day, they should not have fear. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't fear. We shouldn't fear because if you say DJs, COVID time, we mm-hmm. all. I have done, I was in the food industry. I am yeah. in the food industry. Yeah. Came to a grinding halt at oh, some yeah. point. Yeah. But I'm still And here. it was your thing. You it loved was it. Yeah. I loved it. But at some point. Yeah, mm-hmm. it ground to a halt. Yeah. But because I'm passionate about it, mm-hmm. I won't let go. Mm-hmm. I will keep trying. Yes. So I think every career or every a point will come mm-hmm. where you hit. So you, it doesn't mean now you don't choose out of fear mm. because COVID was there. Mm. Ten years from now, it could be something hitting the doctors. Yeah. Another years from now, it's the engineers. Mm. So you do your thing. Yes. And God will give you the grace. You, you, you mentioned about the journey. Yeah. And I remembered almost 20 years ago, I was doing counseling, peer counseling. I was <laughs> praying. Yeah. It, it is to do a funny thing. When you do a mistake, <laughs> either you talk or do something wrong. We used to go and pray behind the, you know, the door at school. Mm-hmm. And I remember I used to preach, mm-hmm. you know. So as I say, it, it has been a journey yeah. of so many levels of, you know, uh, you know, uh, inculcating my gift. Yeah. So as you're saying, um, it, it is a journey that you go through. Yeah. But now let's talk about now the spiritual side mm-hmm. of the impartation. Mm-hmm. And uh, coming from the Victory Faith Ministry mm-hmm. and maybe from the ministry experience you've had, mm-hmm. What can you say about now the spiritual impartation of um, uh, physical, biological parents, 
um, the church, you know, uh, some of the spiritual aspects that now, you know, I, I believe there are levels you never reach by your own efforts. You need, you need a backup of grace yeah. and favor. Yeah. Let's talk about that, spiritual covering. I think that spiritual covering is really a really, really major thing. I cannot even emphasize it because if I can tell you, there are things my pastor has told me about my children mm -hmm. way in advance. Wow. This one who wants to be a pastor, she could see it way before anybody saw it. You're like, what are you talking about? Yes. <laughs> because he's, yeah. She could just, actually, she didn't tell me. Wow. Until much later, after, until now we've talked about it. He, he told me for many years, I want to be a pastor, I want to be a pastor, I want to be a pastor. She saw that when, probably when he was very young, I didn't see it. So they are, they have spiritual eyes and guidance mm -hmm. that we may not have. Yeah. So we submit to your spiritual leaders. There are things they can guide you that you may not see. Mm -hmm. Now, and they also give you wisdom mm -hmm. because one of the things our pastor told me is, don't go and tell this child. Mm -hmm. Just because I've told you that, don't go and tell the, oh yeah, you will be a pastor. Mm -hmm. No, he has to choose that himself. It has to give be, room. Give room. Right. Let him. Mm. Even if he, he comes and tells you tomorrow, I want to be something else. Mm. Relax. Mm -hmm. Let him choose it by himself. Yeah. If you impose it, you, you can actually cut off what God wants to do. So spiritual covering mm. is so important. I would have been totally lost <laughs> if I did not have uh, our pastors, even our congregants. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. when you come and share together as families, mm -hmm. there are those who will give you you know, ideas, yes. so we come and deliberate, mm -hmm. like mothers of teenagers mm -hmm. and fathers. Mm -hmm. But as we sit together, we realize we are going through all the same thing. Mm -hmm. There are those who know better than others, mm -hmm. so we share. Yeah. So that is most, most important. And that's what differentiates us from maybe our parents. If our yeah. parents were not in church or spiritual. Mm -hmm. Because like myself, I did something that I didn't want to do. My yes. dad was just told, oh, you, kuna kazi hapa. Yes. In horticulture. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> I yes. looked for a job in yeah. that industry. I've never gone back. Yeah. So because we know better, mm. we submit to our spiritual authority. We listen to them. Sometimes God can allow your pastor to know something mm. and you may not know. Yes. So when you walk together, then you will accomplish. And that's the only way to do it. Mm. Especially now in mm. this day and age, I think young people, are, they have been confronted with things that no other generation has been called. As much as we went through some of these things, <laughs> it's not with the identity. Yes, yes, yes. But it is right now. Uh, so you have to walk circumspectly. Yeah. With your spiritual guidance, mm. with the word of God in prayer. Mm. When you're lost, pray. Mm -hmm. Ask, find out. So spend and Amazing. Prayer. Yeah. I, I know I've, I've told you this before. I was also called in for horticulture. Oh. So that is made a good choice to support my dream because I didn't go for horticulture. I went for what I felt was my purpose, to be prepared, to be equipped, to become a transformational leader and a capacity builder. Yeah. And so that you did make a mistake. <laughs> that is, yeah. You know, such a like dad, I can yeah. imagine, mm. not many parents. Parents, oh, yeah. we are kind of scared, especially in ministry. <laughs> It was like a scary thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't joke. Those are mucky waters. Yeah. Yes, yes. Five yes. ministry. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> what, you're hearing the Otaka Bible Hapa or Kwana Zunguka Kamta. You're like, oh no. Yeah. yeah. So I think even your dad, if you yes. had that wisdom, mm -hmm. not many have that. But yeah, I, yeah. I agree because there's something that's told him I wanted to do. Yeah. So I was like, nah, nah, nah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time I wanted to go abroad, nah, nah, nah. Another thing. Mm. So as you say, it is not that he can't refute. Yeah. But there's some things he knew about me and you. Yeah. Well and good, go for it. Yeah. But I want us to end with this. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you say? Mambo, poor. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. When we asked, do, are we asked, how are you? Say, I'm not okay. Mm -hmm. And so we have a culture where mm -hmm. you need to be ever smiling, ever okay. Yet there's some times where truly you're struggling. Mm -hmm. in, and in this aspect, I'm talking about 
we're going to make some mistakes. The young people are going to have some challenges. What can you tell them that life is not a straight line? There are those ups, there are downs, but provided you're moving, you, you can make some moves. Uh, let's talk about those. Now, um, first of all, we are all, nobody is perfect. Mm. Now, the young people are just getting to know themselves. Mm. So they'll make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But there's no other way of correcting those mistakes, mm. but actually doing and continuing to do whatever mm. it is that you need to do. Mm. If there's something you are doing and you make a mistake, but you feel it was a good journey for you, go back and do it. Mm -hmm. And then us as parents, we give them the allowance mm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Not that if you make a mistake, mm -hmm. forget about the um, funny evil. Oh, but what yeah, can I you know. oh, uh, They are bound to make all kinds mm -hmm. and sorts of mistakes and yeah. it will happen. But I think they get there. Even when you get there, there's no time where you actually get there. And the parents also <laughs> make their prayer share. <laughs> and we continue to make them. Yes. Even it's, now, it's, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. That times you spared our children mm -hmm. many times. Mm -hmm. So I think it is just going back doing it mm -hmm. so long as you know this is my way wow. do it go back do it again phone wake up we help them wake up mm -hmm. because in our church like there are times when the youth are given a chance to preach mm -hmm. collect tithes and offerings do in, in the whole church mm -hmm. now even if you're called to go and minister mm -hmm. and make a mistake mm -hmm. good you know what i tell my son Courage does not mean, first of all, you're not fearful, you're yeah, not yeah, going yeah. to make a mistake. It means that you're going to do it anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you do it mm. again. That's what yeah. courage is all about. Yes. So the absence. It's not the absence yeah. of fear. Mm. It is there, but you do yeah. it anyway. Mm. It's that you have made a mistake and you still do it again and again. Mm. By the time you do it again and again, you're perfecting your art. So do it. And then another thing maybe you don't want us to maybe be very cautious about is we as parents also expect them to do things in a certain way. If you are coming to preach, they are going to preach in the way we know yeah. how preaching should be done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're in dressing. Five minutes introduction, yeah. 10 minutes on the content, and five minutes conclusion. <laughs> if, they, if they don't do that, you're like, you have not preached. You yes. have preached. Yes, 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 so yes, yes. You have to allow them. They'll do new things. Mm -hmm. They will come up with new ways of doing things. So let's allow them to do that. And you know what? When you allow their gifts to thrive, we'll also be blessed. Yeah, because we'll see, you know, God is always growing us, enlarging us. For you to be enlarged, you will have to allow new things. So we are very rigid as, mm -hmm. as parents, yeah. but we are learning. Yeah, we are learning. <laughs> we are learning. And I want to end it with that two word you mentioned, yeah. do it. Yeah. Sometimes imagine we are being locked away because we are not doing it. Yeah. We are not doing that work we are not going for that dream we are not starting out yeah so the challenge we've been given today to the young people and to the parents yeah. let's do it yes to the parents allow them the young people to be themselves mm -hmm. provided your guiding and a very important thing that alice has mentioned pray 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 there is a god who answers prayers mm -hmm. so that when you even praying and you're not sure you're like god what is happening God will make it work. Mm -hmm. As Romans 8.28 says, that all things worketh together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purposes. Where else can you get such amazing conversations apart from right here at the Tubonge Show? Stay tuned for another exciting episode and it will be great to see you. Have a good time here at PC Atome Online where we point you towards Jesus.